and Raja Linux. And in this video, we're going to see how we can get the file name with extension and without extension from a folder. If you have a folder of containing a files or JPG or text files, how we can get the name file name dot text file or the file name dot PDF, and then how to get only the file name. We're going to see that in this video. Before going to that, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing for more videos. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you have any other doubts, please mention them in the comment section below. Now uh, we get started with creating the workflow for this file name. The first thing that I need is I need all the files from that file, particular file path. So I will mention it as file path, which contains all the files. File path, and then we need to get each and every file. For that, I am using directory dot get files get files of here. We need to provide the path from where we need to get that particular files. And this is the path. So let me copy this one and paste it over here. From this path, I need to get all the images or the files that are present in that particular path. Now, this is an array of strings, so let's change that variable type to array of strings. This is array of strings. Now, we need a for each for iterating all these files in this particular directory or folder. So we will take a for each for each uh, item in this particular folder or in this particular file path. We are going to get the file name extension or the individual file name. For this, we are taking an assign activity here, and let me take it as file name extension. So it, uh, this is the file name which contains extension. For this, you need to use system dot io system dot io dot path, which is path dot get file name. Dot extension and item dot to string and in this file extension we will get the file path so let me drag a message box or here which will be file name extension and let me also drag a message box or here so that we can see the difference of what happened this item dot to string so first let me run this one and check whether we are able to get this file name or not so the execution is started now you can see this is the file path that we are getting in this for each it is one dot jpg here we can see uh, the file name without extension which is one <coughs> Here it is 2 and then we are getting as 2, 3, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, file, file 1, file 2, file 3 and here there are. So the process is completed now. Uh, we got the file name without extension. Now uh, we will drag an another assign activity which will give us the file name. So it will be file name, file name for which we need to write path dot get file name of the path which is which the we are getting from the for each. 
item dot to string. So let me drag another message box out here, which is file name. So now let me run this one and check whether we are actually getting the output or not. And this is a, a file path and this is the file name without extension and this is the whole whole file path which is 1.jpg and this is the second file path and 2 is the file name without extension and with, it is with extension 2.jpg, 3.jpg, 4.jpg, 5.jpg here we got file.jpg, file.pdf which is file in the name without extension with extension it is file.pdf and this is how you can get the file name without extension and with extension in your app studio this is png file merge pdf file and this is how you actually uh, get the file name with extension and without extension in your app here you need to mention like system dot get file name System.io.path.get file name without extension, which is item dot to string. Here you need to mention it as path dot get file name of item dot to string, which will do do the file name with extension and without extension. This is it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing for more of these videos. Thanks for watching.